Super Fun Stuff. Welcome to Super Fun Stuff. One of my daughter's favorite movies, especially around Halloween, is Hotel Transylvania. In fact, she likes all three movies. The movies are witty, funny, and kids love them. One of my favorite characters from the movie is Fly. Fly, voiced by Chris Parnell, is a hotel's fitness instructor. He has several notable scenes including charades, pool fitness class, and uncovering the human at the end of the first movie. Looking online, there was no 3D models for Fly, so I thought, why not make him and surprise my daughter with him? First, let's look at how I created Fly. If you see my previous videos, you know that I like to use a tool called Tinkercad. It's an online modeling tool that allows you to create anything from primitive shapes. And that is exactly how I created him. I took an assortment of primitive shapes and designed them out of that. Since the movie is a cartoon, Fly was fairly easy to make. I modeled Fly after a scene where he translates Quasimodo and points out the human. He says it's a long story. Hey, wait, no, get off me! He says, behold the human. After modeling Fly, it was time for printing. I printed him at a 0.16 resolution and fairly low speeds. Also, I put him on his back and added a bunch of supports. This will give the front of my print a nice clean look, which I want. If the back was rubbish, I wouldn't care as much. So after a while printing, he finally comes out with his lattice of supports around him. So first things first, I remove the supports. Every support came off using my hands with little effort. With the supports off, I took a good look at the model. With my print, I automatically had a few problems. First of all, his leg didn't print. It seems that the support for the leg shifted during printing. So I already knew I would have to create another foot using epoxy putty and some sculpting skills. My next issue was the back of the print. It turned out awful. It was bumpy and it was ridiculous looking. But luckily I didn't care too much about the back anyways, and it only affected those areas. I wasn't going to waste more time and effort reprinting him since he took over 10 hours. So I started to clean up the model, especially the back area. I take my X-Acto knife and get to work, smoothing really bumped out areas and trimming it down a bit. After that I do a variety of sanding. I go from medium to fine to wet sanding. Here you can see after the wet sanding, he is fairly smooth. Now to fix the leg and foot. I really didn't want him to be a pirate, so I took a little epoxy putty and sculpted a new leg and foot. Since he was a cartoon character, this went fairly quickly. After it dried, I'm going to sand him and smooth him out. For this project, I decided to use gesso. It's like a paper mache paint that does a decent job of filling uh, small crevices. I make sure to do a thin cut of gesso on the entire model. With the gesso on, you can start to see areas that need more sanding. In particular, you can see here in the right eye. I then go around the model one more time using a fine sandpaper. Now with the hard labor done, we can start to have fun painting. I first lay down my base colors. I first do white for the shirt, gray for the skin, green for the vest, purple for the tie, and black for the pants in the back of the vest. After all the base colors were on and dry, I looked to spice up the model using some washes. I decided to use a dark black wash for the entire model. The skin I coat with the wash like a glaze to make it darker. I make sure to be careful around the other colors, especially the white. After that, I decided to use a blue wash for the skin as well to give him more of a shimmer fly look. Then I add extra painting details like the plaid vest, greenish teal eyes, and then the final step is gluing a little piece of black hair to his head. And that's it. In the end, he was a pretty simple character. He turned out great and my daughter loves him. Plus, who doesn't like to play with the little hair sticking out of his head? If you didn't already know, you can find this model for free on the Super Fun Stuff model store at myminifactory.com. Thank you for watching and enjoy the model.